Hi, I'm Jacqueline Peng and you're watching the HTV Evening Highlights. The FBMKLCI extended its gains from yesterday in line with Asian stocks. Regional market rose to the highest in almost two weeks after latching on a positive lead from Wall Street and as oil showed signs of stabilising. At the close, the benchmark composite was up some 20 points or 1% to close at 1,663.5. That makes it the highest gainer across the Asian region. JF Apex Securities Head of Research Lee Chong Cheng told the Edge Markets that the rebound may be due to some window dressing. He doesn't expect the positive momentum to be sustained due to the profit-taking that's expected to emerge next week. Across the board's 1.63 billion shares valued at 1.63 billion ringgit were traded. That indicates that small and medium caps remain active in the market. Gainers led decliners at 551 versus 331. Too soon, too sudden and too high. That's how the Malaysian Rubber Glove Manufacturers Association is describing the natural gas price hike just announced yesterday. The increase will take effect in 10 days on January 1st. Its president, Dennis Lowe, doesn't feel that the sudden hike is fair. He says the industry understands the need for the hike, but the notice is just too short to allow glove makers to adjust to the sudden rise in production costs. According to Lowe, the increase will mean an additional cost of 40 to 70 US cent per 1,000 pieces of nitrile glove and about 30 to 50 cent for latex. This will force the industry to raise its prices. Glove makers have been reporting robust earnings recently. But Lowe insists that profit margins are being squeezed as buyers demand lower prices each time the US dollar strengthen and commodity prices fall. Gas Malaysia last increased its tariff six months ago. The Ministry of International Trade and Industry, or MITI, says it may approach the Economic Council and the Cabinet on Megasteel's SPV plan. The contentious proposal involves the setting up of a company solely to import hot roll coils into Malaysia. The government confirmed receiving Megasteel's proposal yesterday. They have submitted a proposal to the PM and myself. What do you think? It is still. I've I, I got no thoughts yet. Uh, I've been, uh, of course, this is a major issue. We need to be very tired. Tara, MITI has done consultations and this is still ongoing. Um, it's tough, yeah, very, very challenging. We've not made a decision yet. Uh, my, uh, my thought at this point in time is uh, after having considered this thoroughly, uh, we might want to go to the Economic Council. It's a major issue and probably Cabinet as well. Yeah. Megasteel is expected to have proposed three models for the SPV, one of which involves the government taking a 60% equity interest in the SPV. The Malaysian Iron and Steel Industry Federation isn't happy with the proposal. It said that the plan would create an unfair advantage for Megasteel and enable it to monopolise hot roll coils production in Malaysia. Megasteel is a 79% owned subsidiary of Lion Corp. It has been suffering losses for several years on the dumping of steel products. PDZ Holdings is going to delay the construction of its LPG plant in Kazakhstan. Group MD Aminuddin Yusuf Lana says this is due to the weakening ringgit which has pushed up costs. Work on the plant was initially scheduled to start by the second quarter of 2015. It is supposed to be completed in 36 months and produce LPG from natural gas supplied by Ken Makmore Holdings. Progress is a bit delayed because of the currency. Now, when we went to the... <coughs> Shareholder, it was 3.4 something. It's now 4.3. So there's a significant change. You know, we're talking about uh, how much is it? Maybe about 25% change. So, which means the cost of the plan is going up by 25%. He says PDZ may consider going modular to cut costs as well as time. PDZ's core business is in the liner business. The LPG plant is part of its diversification strategy into the downstream oil and gas industry. And that wraps up the evening highlights. I'm Jacqueline Peng. Thank you for watching and have a Merry Christmas.